I got some energy here that there's a sick, twisted person who's watching you. Is that what it said? Sick, twisted person. Sick, twisted individual is starving you of love. Isolates you from family and deep regret about the choices they made. So that's the initial energy here. And then it says, I just take these notes before I do the reading. It says, with that being said, you're on the right track and it shows. So there's something about this sick, twisted individual who's trying to, I don't even know what they're doing. Like that is a mouthful, whatever that is they're doing. It's just like, you don't even have time to be trying to analyze this person's behavior and figure them out. Cause it's just the same thing over and over. And also it takes too much time. It takes too much time to figure it out because it doesn't make sense. And I feel like you're someone who's about your money. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. You're definitely about your money. 1111 just passed on the clock. I didn't see it, but I feel like it's really important that you keep your eyes open for money making opportunities. And this is ideas. There's a YouTuber named Debbie. Ugh, I got to put her link somewhere, but she's like a quantum physics type of girl. She does she does she doesn't do readings, but it's like spirituality meets science. I think she's a scientist first and now she's like crossing the line like the lines are getting blurred but anyway she talks a lot about manifestations and i feel like it might be important for you to if not this person if i don't remember to put the link to start looking into manifestations if you don't already look at content about subliminals watching subliminals and things like that because i feel like it's really a good time right now for you to start making moves when it comes to your money doing more and making real connections or maybe you could be a business person you could already be a business person but now it was like i'm just doing this for the money but you don't really care about the people you work with and now it's like you karen is what's making money so you gotta find something you care about because that's the only place the money is coming from start your own business it doesn't have to be good i'm just saying it's not about morals here you could you could be open in a brothel, whatever's legal, whatever's going to keep you out of jail, do that. And as long as you love it, you have King of Cups in reverse. I mean, you could be playing with people's emotions. I'm not picking any side. I'm just, I'm just reading the cards. And that's why I'm getting here. Like, okay, so I'm getting this Ace of Pentacles here, King of Cups in reverse. It's like you're making your money in some way that people might not feel is appropriate. Or maybe you just had enough dealing with people's weird personalities that you just genuinely don't care about your clientele. So what is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe we need to work on that. The last reading was like somebody is sure so that you can work on it. Like it was like some ugly things coming up. Somebody maybe needed to do shadow work. That was for Leo. So if that resonates, you might want to check out Leo's reading. You could be a Leo as well. But it's like, it's okay. You can stop and think about yourself and criticize yourself and analyze your own behavior. It's just when it comes to other people, somebody could be calling you a narcissist because that is kind of like the symptoms of a narcissist. You only care about yourself, but it's like you are yourself. Why wouldn't you care about yourself? Why wouldn't you be minding your own business? That's a very good thing. And people pop up you to give them free therapy and free business advice and all types of stuff. When it doesn't make sense, it doesn't even amount to anything, and it's a waste of time, it's a distraction. So that's what I feel like when it comes to other people, you don't care, but when you're focused on yourself, you care. That's all I can say, and caring is sharing, ultimately, right? When you're happy, you can spread that joy. So people should be supporting you. Maybe you're just around some really immature people who don't realize their own worth, and they don't realize that they should be helping you. A lot of this sounds like a narcissist, but I don't have a problem with narcissists. No, I, I've never been. Okay, I'm not going to get into the personal the personal stories or background unless even one person puts it in a comment that they care. I'm not going to talk about myself. But I feel like if the narcissist is being a narcissist, just let him be a narcissist. It's not your business. Okay, but I'm sorry if someone's in a relationship with a narcissist and they don't know how to get out just walk away 
I don't know. I'm not going to speak on that. Okay. Somebody definitely has a place to celebrate. It's time to celebrate something. Maybe dealing with people who are constantly trying to put you down for who you are. Just walk away. If they don't want to be your friend. They want to be your enemy. They, they, they want to be your victim. They want to play a victim. I don't know. I'm definitely getting some narcissists here. Narcissism. But it's the truth. They want to be a victim. And they want to whine and complain about it. How much you hurt their feelings. I don't know. Whoever this is, just let them, let them go. If there's somebody, somebody's doing that to you, like trying to make you feel like you're the bad guy. And like you should lay on the ground let them walk all over your back because you're more successful than they are you're more attractive than they are and they think it's not fair that's the vibe i'm getting and they want to call you out of your name but if you are to be honest about who they are it's a huge problem it's a huge problem like they they want to go to the to the fbi and complain about you all right, let me go on with this energy. Yeah, they want you to feel regretful, remorseful, because they know that type of energy is going to put you out of your own home. They're trying to move you out of your comfort zone when it comes to this manifestation. And you're just getting, I feel like you're just getting close to the sweet spot. Or you're just hitting the sweet spot and it's good for you. Just because other people are uncomfortable. These are parasites. That's the energy. That's the vibe. They're uncomfortable with you being okay without them. It makes them uncomfortable that you don't need them to be happy. And that you're only happy when they're gone. So it's like, leave them. If, if it things are such a problem, they have an issue with your personality, well, leave. And yeah, somebody is definitely trying to track you. I see GPS here. But they don't even have the ability to put trackers on you or, or if they're trying to track you i don't know we're all being tracked like even before there was gps we had to be mindful we had to know where the north star was we had to have some type of mental map of ourselves our personality our history our bloodline so whoever's afraid of the cameras these days okay i'm not gonna talk too much because i'm not totally on camera but we're getting here it's like, you got to get with the program. This is life. You can't be afraid anymore. Somebody's trying to run or calls you to run. They want you to be fearful of who you already are. You're already comfortable with yourself. You don't have to be afraid. I'm getting like this, this person has some deeply rooted emotional trauma, possibly even child trauma. But it seems like they don't really know who they are. And uh, if you took even two seconds to show them who they are, that's what that's all they would want. They want to be the narcissist. They want you to feed into them. Um, but you choose to feed into yourself. And that's the way it's going to be. I don't care what they call you. They want to be a parasite to your energy, to your self-esteem, your self-love. That's the truth. Don't let them name call you. Or just ignore them if they are. Because it's all in their head. They're overthinking, overanalyzing. And they want you to do that for them. They want you to think about what they're doing. Tell them about themselves. Like read for them. They want you to read them. And unless you're a reader, that's not something you, you're responsible for. They need to figure it out. They need to go get a psychologist. They need to go get a therapist. A reader of their own. Okay? So this is something that's happening right now. I feel like... It could be this very moment, like happening in real time, where someone's trying to get tangled up in your thoughts. Now, Page of Swords wanted to come out in reverse twice, because it seems like this person is possibly developmentally delayed um, and trying to get you tangled up in their problems, challenges. This could start off as a stutter. Somebody could be, uh, I want to say, harvesting a stutter harboring some past mistakes and it's going to have to come out in some way just a final card to clarify the page of swords and what's going on with the page of swords okay 
it says, I know I've been distracting you, but this was, this was in reverse. So I feel like they don't really know what they've been doing. And somebody you're going to have to just let slide. That's why I feel like you don't need to really analyze their behavior because they don't even know what they're doing. And if you were to tell what we're doing, they would just deny it. 